Uh, Russell Maniac, aka Blu ray Maniac, aka Grizzle Maniac, aka Motherfucking Unboxing Maniac. I live on 40. What? Do you understand what's fixing to happen? We've got another unboxing, motherfuckers. Sorry for the cussing, but I'm angry. Not angry, I'm fixing. Safety nerve! We're back, guys. On a normal level, I've got uh, what seems to be three packages here. Um, actually, I know what that is. That is not wrestling related. So we're going to go with these. Two huge packages. That's what she said. Now we're just going to get right into it. All righty. This first one comes from the homeboy, Zach LSU Oregon. Been a homeboy of mine for years. When I first started the channel, he was one of the first, first subscribers I had. And he's been a loyal subscriber this whole time. He's got a great wrestling collection. He sold a lot of them because of the network. He's got a huge Disney Blu-ray collection, big collector of Disney films, and I've sold and traded some stuff with him in the past. And he was getting rid of a lot of his wrestling DVDs, and I, and I bought several of them from him. So I'm going to put his link in the description box. Y'all be sure to subscribe to Zach. He's a, he, he's a, he's a great dude, and I uh, really appreciate all the stuff he's done for me. So shout out to you, brother. But I'm fixing to murder this box that you gave me. You ready? Safety nerd! Safety knife, can it be Goldberg Street? Of course, it's not. Uh, oh my God, dude. Did he just throw some other stuff in too? Zach, you're the man, dog. You are the man, bro ham. Oh yeah, he threw in some codes for me. Threw in some digital codes for your boy. Thank you, dog. Thank you. So here we go, guys. Got just some random DVD wrestling DVDs here. Stuff that I've needed to get back. We're going to go right through it. First and foremost, Whammy. Breaking the code behind the walls of Chris Jericho. Um, just a great, great documentary. And one of the very few that I've ever seen that actually had the insert. So shout out to you, Zach, for this, man. Big fan of Jericho stuff. Uh, he's always been one of my favorites. This is a great documentary. Got some great matches on it as well. And glad to get that back in the collection. That is the Breaking the Code Behind the Walls of Chris Jericho. Next up is just some random pay-per-views I was needing. Um, you know, of course, I'm on the SummerSlam kick with the new one coming up next weekend. And we've got SummerSlam 2009. This is a really solid show. You had the Orton and Cena WWE title match. You had the TLC match for the World Heavyweight title with uh, Jeff Hardy, CM Punk. An epic match. He had an ECW title match between Christian and William Regal. He had Triple H and Shawn Michaels as DX versus Legacy, which was Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase. He had the unified tag title uh, match between Jericho and Big Show versus Crime Time. He had the IC belt uh, match with Mysterio and Ziggler. He had Great Kali versus Kane, and he had MVP versus Jack Swagger. You know what's all about? So there's SummerSlam 2009, baby. Next up, continuing our 2009 uh, pickup here, we got Extreme Rules 2009 with old Ray Ray on the cover. Um, I like 2009. I thought it was a solid year for WWE. This had the steel cage match for the title with Orton and Batista. He had the ladder match for the World Heavyweight title between Edge and Jeff Hardy. He had the triple threat no uh, hardcore rules match for the ECW title. Christian, Jack Swagger, and Tommy Dreamer. You had Mysterio and Jericho in a no-holds-barred match for the IC title. You had Cena and Big Show in a submission match. Uh, CM Punk uh, versus Umaga in a strap match. Had the Fatal 4-Way U.S. title match between Kofi, MVP, Matt Hardy, William Regal. So, that's Extreme Rules 2009, baby. And... Oh, man, my bad. He, he just attached a note, too. Um, he said, sorry for the wait, man. You can sell the codes I put in here. Came out of the brand-new Blu-rays I personally bought. Keep doing what you do, Zach. Man, thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate it. 
Um, and as soon as I get me some merch and everything, I'm going to be sending some of your way. Um, continuing on with the 2009 pay-per-views, we've got TLC 2009. This was the first TLC pay-per-view. Um, this had TLC match for the unified tag titles. You had Jericho and Big Show versus DX. You had the chair match for the world title with under, uh, Undertaker and Batista. You had the tables match for the WWE title, Cena and Sheamus. You had Christian and Shelton Benjamin in the ladder match for the ECW title. So again, that's another 2009. It's TLC 2009. And continuing on, this is a 2003 pay-per-view that I really didn't need. Um, I've got two, four, six, eight. This is number nine for 2003. Um, that's No Mercy 2003. This had that biker chain match for the WWE title between uh, Taker and Lesnar. You also had Kurt Angle versus Cena. Um, you had the Stephanie McMahon versus Mr. McMahon, father-daughter I quit match. You had Eddie Guerrero, Big Show, U.S. title match. Ray Ray and Dejiri, uh, cruiserweight match. Benoit versus A-Train. Zach Gallon versus Matt Hardy. So that's uh, No Mercy, 2003. And we've got a tag classics here from 2004. Great American Bash 2004 and Vengeance 2004. Um, yeah, this was a, you know, of course, the, the Great American Bashes aren't the greatest. But um, this had the bull rope match for the WWE belt with Bradshaw, and, or JBL and Eddie Guerrero. You had a concrete crypt match between Taker and the Dudleys. You had Fatal 4-Way for the U.S. title, Cena, Booker T, RVD, and Rene Dupree. That's um, Great American Bash 2004. And then, of course, we had Vengeance 2004, which was the pay-per-view after this uh, Great American Bash. That had Triple H, Benoit, and a world heavyweight title match, Orton and Edge, and the IC title. You had Chris Jericho versus Batista. You had No DQ match between Matt Hardy and Kane. You had Eugene and Ric Flair versus La Resistance for the world tag titles. That whole Eugene thing, I just... trips me out. And last but not least for my boy Zach, man. This is awesome. We've got the WrestleMania 23 10. And we open it up. Oh, sweet. We've got some collector cards here. We've got The Rock. Uh, we've got Ravish and Rick Rude there. Classic. We've got Mr. Perfect and Roddy Piper. Rest in peace to both of those guys. And we've got Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov cards there. So that's really cool. I didn't get that one the first time I had this pay-per-view. And, of course, you've got the three-disc edition of WrestleMania 23, which is an outstanding show. It took place at Ford Field. This had Cena and Michaels' WWE title match with an amazing match. Batista and Undertaker for the world title. You had Lashley versus Umaga in the Battle of the Billionaires, hair versus hair match with Trump and McMahon. You had the Awesome Money in the Bank ladder match. You had the ECW Originals versus the New Breed. You had Kane and Great Khali, Chris Benoit and MVP, the U.S. title match. That's WrestleMania 23, baby. I can't wait to get the WrestleMania uh, retrospective done and, you know, WrestleMania season. So thanks again to Zach LSU Oregon, man. Y'all be sure to subscribe to him. I'll put his link in the description box. And before I do this huge unboxing that's coming up, um, I got two pickups from eBay that I opened yesterday, and I'm really hyped about these. We have WWF Attitude Collection, the best of Monday Night Raw Volume 1. I've never owned this. Even before, I never owned it. I may try to get all the Attitude Collections again. They're really expensive, though. They went down in price. I don't believe I have any more. This is the only one I have right now. It says it's 75 minutes. I don't know what all is on it. I'm sure I've seen all of it, but it's really cool. I got this this, and the next one I'm about to show you and a TNA Lockdown 2005 for $9 shipped. And it was just labeled WWF DVDs. So they didn't know what they had, apparently. You got Road Warriors. This is normally like 10 12 bucks by itself. This is the life and death of the most dominant tag team in wrestling history. I absolutely love this documentary. And it's got some awesome matches on it. Um, two discs. It comes with the insert. Great shape. Really excited to own this again. I love the Road Warriors. Rest in peace to, uh, to Hawk. But there's those two pickups. And 
here we go, guys. Here is, this wasn't packaged the greatest. Uh, there's a lot of these. I'm, there may be 10 or 12 in here. Um, let's see, this is coming from Las Vegas. It's fixing to get murdered. Jackpot, baby. Jackpot. Come on, safety knife. Don't fail me now. Oh, don't you love that when you crack it? Safety knife. Still undefeated, baby. Goldberg. Oh, this is I'm I'm extremely excited about this, guys. We've got a lot of good goody 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 goodies in this one. There's tons of stuff, guys. Look at this. Okay. Here we go, guys. Let's see what we got cracking off in this piece. Continuing with our tins here, we've got the SummerSlam 2008 tin. This is brand new sealed, which I may keep that way. Just simply because I have SummerSlam 2008 already. This just came in this lot with all this stuff. So I figured I'd pick it up. That's the SummerSlam 2008 tin. Still sealed there. And looks like we've got Survivor Series 2008 tin. This um, this was the Survivor Series that had John Cena and Jericho in the World Heavyweight title match. He had the triple threat match for the WWE title with Edge, Kozlov, and Triple H. He had the casket match between Undertaker and Big Show. And then you had two traditional Survivor Series match. And then you had the Divas Survivor Series match. And again, this is something that FYA was putting out exclusively. Uh, this is a sealed one. I'm going to open this one just because I don't have it. So we'll see what we got cracking off. And I don't know if there's anything special about them, but I always thought it was cool when they put the when WWE did these, which they don't do that stuff anymore. Yeah, and it's just got the sealed copy of Survivor Series 2008, which is a spoiler alert. Of course, we all know Cena won the title that night. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm just really excited to be back into collecting the, the wrestling stuff. You know, I know the network is put a damper on a lot of that for people and I understand that I even did the same thing but I'm just a true collector you know and I love movies but as much as I love movies I love wrestling even more so I'm just glad to be back in it the Survivor Series 2008 and SummerSlam 2008 collective tens okay and the last DVD I got from them the rest are WWE Blu-rays which I'm really hyped about we have Survivor Series 2009 it's got good old DX on the cover. This is the one that had triple threat match for the WWE title between Cena, Triple H, and Shawn Michaels. And you had a triple threat match for the World Heavyweight title between Undertaker, Big Show, and Jericho. And again, another 2009. So I've picked up, I want to say four, or maybe five. Safety knife getting a cheap win. Whoopsie. Hey, they even bring him in for the little jobs every now and then, you know? We need him to bunt. We need him to sacrifice bunt. The, the safety knife is there. It is there for our for our amusement. Oh yeah, this was brand new as well. I don't need that. So glad to add that one. That's Survivor Series 2009. I'm trying to beef up on my Survivor Series collection because I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be doing that. I hate when I hear loose situations there bugs me it's a collector's nightmare we all know the sound the rattling sound um, anyways I'm gonna be beefing up the Survivor Series collection because I'm gonna be doing a Survivor Series retrospective in November and this person was selling off their entire WWE collection as many of these that I bought there was another 15 that I lost out on in like the last five minutes that I was pretty bummed about but I just wasn't paying attention the, all the, the bids ended while I was at work um, so here we go. We're going to get right into it. All the rest of these are Blu-rays. We've got Royal Rumble 2011. This is when WWE was actually doing the combo packs, which I thought was cool. They only did this in like 2011. It's got the Blu-ray and the DVDs in it. Um, of course, this is the one I bought. This is the 40-man Royal Rumble that had the Miz and Orton in a WWE title match and Edge and Ziggler in a World Heavyweight title match. Both really good matches. And you have the one, the 40-man Royal Rumble that was pretty good that uh, Alberto Del Rio ended up winning. Um, I'm going to be doing a Royal Rumble retrospective as well, guys. So just get ready for just a lot of just videos. Uh, what else we got? Continuing, we're going to go back. We're going to go back. 
We just showed you Royal Rumble 2011. We went back a year, Royal Rumble 2010. Um, which again was the, oh, this was the, disc one is the Rumble, and then disc two is the complete episode of Raw and the complete episode of SmackDown before the show, which I always loved when they did that to kind of up, update you on what was popping. Um, he had the WWE title match between Sheamus and Orton. He had Taker, Mysterio, and a World Heavyweight title match, and Christian and Ezekiel Jackson in an ECW title match. This is the Rumble that had, I think, Edge coming back and winning. So that's Royal Rumble 2010. And where else we got? I already own Royal Rumble 2012. So look at this. Whammy. Royal Rumble 2013 with The Rock there. Absolutely outstanding show. I love this show. It's got the match, the um, last man standing match between Alberto Del Rio and Big Show. You had Team Hell No versus Team Road Scholars for the tag belts. You had the awesome Royal Rumble match that Cena ended up winning. And you had CM Punk and The Rock in the WWE title match, which was awesome. So uh, that's Royal Rumble 2013. This was the whole, love that show. And it's got the, it's got the pre-show match. Was there a pre-show match? No, there wasn't. This was before all that. Continuing on with the Royal Rumbles. We've got Royal Rumble 2014 that is cracked on the inside. I can tell by the way it sounds. So we're going to crack this open and hopefully I don't have to kill anybody. We all know this wasn't my favorite Royal Rumble. Um, but going back on it, it's not as bad as, as I remember it. Um, no, it's fine. It was just a little security tag that was loose. Of course, this one is the one that had... These are pre-owned. It was just repackaged. This one is the one that had... When Batista won the Royal Rumble, you also had the awesome match between Daniel Bryan and Bray Wyatt, which was amazing. Um... You had Cena and Orton's title match that nobody liked. I just remember everybody, the crowd totally hijacked this entire Raw, a Royal Rumble. Um, they were chanting everything but Cena and Orton in this match, in their title match. It was just because they was tired of seeing it. Um, but yeah, that's Royal Rumble 2014. So we picked up four Royal Rumbles. Now, continuing on with pay-per-views, we've got something really cool, my very first one, and there was several other ones that I bet on I didn't win. This is the Silver Vision edition of the Survivor Series 2011. This is the Blu-ray. Now, I don't have a region-free player, but I'm going to get one soon. So I'm trying to get all the WWE Blu-rays that exist, and a lot of them exist in the UK that don't exist here. So I got this for $8, brand new. I'm going to leave it sealed for the time being. This had Cena and Rock versus Truth and a Miz. Of course, I showed the DVD of this in my last update, but I thought that was an awesome deal. And we've got Survivor Series 2012 Blu-ray. Um, this has this is the match that had Team Foley versus Team Ziggler. Team Foley consisted of Team Hell No, Randy Orton, Kofi, and the Miz. And then Team Ziggler was Ziggler, Sandow, David Otunga, Del Rio, and Wade Barrett. He had the triple threat match for the title between CM Punk, John Cena, and Ryback. He had Sheamus and Big Show in a world heavyweight title match. Cesaro and Truth in the U.S. title match. Mysterio and Sin Cara versus the Primetime Players. And Eve versus Caitlyn for the Divas title. Survivor Series 2012. So I picked up three... One, two, three... Four Survivor Series. And last but not least on the pay-per-views from the Blu-rays, we've got SummerSlam 2012 Blu-ray. Um, enjoyed this show as well. This, of course, was Triple H and Lesnar. Kramer really likes uh, Brock Lesnar. He's a big Brock Lesnar fan. Shout out to Kramer. Uh, <laughs> but uh, this had, of course, Triple H versus Lesnar. This had CM Punk versus John Cena versus Big Show. This had Del Rio versus Sheamus. Um, this was a really good show as well. That's SummerSlam 2012. And last but not least, we have Batista, The Animal Unleashed. I got this for $12, brand new. 
I've heard this is not very good document documentary wise. I heard it's only like thirty minute doc. But honestly, I'm trying to get all the Blu-rays from WWE, and I'm a big fan of Batista's older stuff. I wasn't a fan when he came back. I just didn't really think he needed to, honestly. Um, and I'm a big fan of, of his matches. I love watching Batista's matches. Um, and this is cool because this has got a lot of stuff on it that's not on that uh, Batista um, I Walk Alone. You got a ton of Blu-ray exclusive stuff. Poon, Punjabi Prison Match. But, uh, that is Batista, the Animal Unleashed. Looks like you got eight hours worth of goodies on that. So um, there's that. I'll just go ahead and open this. It's not wrestling related, but I'm not going to do a standalone video for it. And uh, as you know, this is, well, if you don't know, this is my favorite show of all time. And it is Seinfeld. This is season four. I ended up scoring in CD Warehouse all the seasons of Seinfeld except for Seinfeld season four and five. So I had to order them off of uh, eBay, and that was season four, so I just got season five coming. And I have all the Seinfelds. I'm a big fan, and that's my favorite show of all time. And I sold the DVDs a year and a half ago when I thought they were getting the Blu-ray release, and apparently that's not happening anytime soon. And I can't, I just can't. That's my favorite show. I can't just watch it on Hulu. I have to own those. So... So yeah, guys, um, got a really good haul. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two pickups. Um, again, shout out to Zach LSU Oregon for the uh, for the package, brother. I'm gonna be ordering some more from you. Just uh, I'll get with you in the next couple days on what I need. Um, Y'all yeah, be sure to like this video, comment, subscribe. Be sure to. Share it with a friend, and let's bring back the collecting. Long live us collectors, baby. I'm out of this piece. i got to get something to eat. I'm fat. Just got home from work. It's like 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and I'm ready to get something to eat. I love each and every one of you guys. Love, peace, hair, grease. Why am I damn a ding-dong? Woo!